Welcome back to the YouTube channel. What we're going to go through today is how to sell in the new era of selling, okay? How to sell. Now, online sales and online coaching has become a massive thing and has saturated the market. So I'm going to go through the three main processes that we put in place so our clients and our coaches cut through the noise of the market and have a sales process better than anyone else that their clients love, that they love, and that allows them to do the job they signed up to do which is coaching. Okay. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can find out when we do more videos, because every single video that we do genuinely will help your business. I've had people come to me and say, I've watched your whole YouTube channel and I'm now making five grand a month. Okay. We do this. Actually, we get paid from YouTube now a little bit. I think I've made like 300 pounds. I've probably invested about a hundred times that maybe not a hundred times that, but I've definitely invested about 30 grand in the, the kit out and the podcast studio here. <laughs> um, but I hope it's worth it. So make sure that you keep notified of these videos because they genuinely will help your coaching business. All right. So diving straight into it, the three main parts of sales. Okay. The first thing is do not sell cold. All right. Every time that we found that people get on the phone with cold leads that people that don't know them aren't really sure what they're about and they've just seen like a before and after picture and jump straight in without any idea, terrible leads, okay? They either waste your time on the phone, they don't really want to pay, you know, the price that you need to charge. And even if you do manage to get them on to the program, they generally aren't great clients because they're not invested in the process, okay? So my advice would be do not sell cold. We need to have a conversational process first, okay? In today's day and age, all right, people expect to have a conversation with either you're the company at this point. I was going to say company, but it's you. All right. They're going to expect to have a conversation with you at some point before that sales process. Okay. And 90% of people make, a, I think 70% of the buying decision is made before the sales process. Okay. So they look at your content. They look at your business. They look at what's going on. And they actually make the purchase decisions in their head. Do I want this? Is it something that's relevant to me? Is it the right time for me right now? Generally, you'll find that people reach out to you like saying, what's the price? It's not like it used to be where they're asking that because they just want to be cheap. They're asking because they've generally made most of the other buying decision in the brain already. And they just need to know the price because that's the bit that they can't find. Okay. So you need to have a content procedure. You need to have a conversation procedure so people can make those buying decisions for themselves before they get on the call. The second thing I would always advise is for business to consumer, which is like coach to client, I would always do a two-step close. I think it reduces loads of friction and it gets you in front of the person without a load of pressure. So if you try and book full consultation calls, they're probably going to ask questions like, you know, do I have to buy at the end of the call? How much is it? If you can do a two-step close, which is basically a 15-minute chat to start with, where you, you know, act like a coach, take in the problems, try and identify some solutions, you know, empathize with them, get on their level. It gives you some more understanding. You can qualify them at that point as well. All right. So that goes first. Then if that goes well and you're like, yep, there's somebody that, you know, once my product, there's a need for it, it will help them. They, you know, potentially have the ability to buy it. They are the person that makes the decision on whether they buy it. And now is the right time for them. You would then book them onto a, an actual consultation call and take them through the program. But this first chat, you can position that in your marketing as something that's really helpful to them. You can call it wherever you want. You can call it a clarity to call, a uh, We've, we've had clients call it nutritional audits. We've had clients call it like performance audits, whatever that looks like, okay? And there is no sales process there. It is just a chat about what they're struggling with, their goals, where they want to get to. And then at the end of that, you can go through those qualifying questions and say, you know, is it a problem that, that you need to solve right now? Or is it a later problem? You know, is there anyone else like, you know, if you wanted to really solve this, is there anyone else that you need to ask or clear it with? You can ask all the questions that potentially your longer application form would already ask. So you fill that out, you book them in for a time, and then the sale is actually done on the second call. The third thing that I would let you know is that nowadays, there used to be this train of thought, right? That if somebody gets off a sales call and they haven't sold, they are gone. Okay. That's not the case anymore. Lots of people 
decide that they want to do something and then realize that now is not the right time for them. And a lot of people have just let leads go off into the distance and never followed them up with them again because they've been told that if they get off the phone and they don't buy, they're never going to come back. And our program, I would estimate 30% of our revenues from people that have had a call with us before realized it wasn't the right time or they couldn't commit to it in the way that they needed to right now. I've gone away and have come back in the future, signed up and been successful clients. Okay. So if you don't want to lose 30% of your revenue, have a follow-up process. Okay. So you need to know, right, was this person a fit? Yes or no. If they were a fit for the program, cool. What was the reason why they couldn't? Was it finances? Was it, you know, someone else was involved in the decision and said no? Or was it that now just wasn't the right time? If you know what that is, you can consistently revisit that with that person because some of those things may change, okay? Remember that just because they said that they can't afford it right now, it's more than likely they didn't see the value in it right now. So you need to consistently build up the value with them, build up your value in their eyes. So then once you've built up enough value, they will go, yeah, actually, that is going to be worth me spending the money on it. If it's time that won't always be the case. And if somebody else is the decision maker, they might not always be if the situation continues to get worse for them. They may override that decision maker because they just need to get it fixed. What you need to do is make sure on a monthly basis, you're being in touch with these people, you're giving them new resources, you're helping them, you're giving them more value. You don't need to respond to them every day like you would as a coach, but I would always keep in touch at minimum every 30 days and probably every week in the first like month of them being a lead, okay? If you do these processes and implement these processes, they will massively change your sales process. Your sales process will feel more in line with a coach rather than a salesperson. It will be highly effective and more people will be inclined to go through it because it's not a hard and fast pushy sales process, okay? So that's our sales system. That's what we teach people. That's what we believe in, all right? It works incredibly well. We've, you know, helped hundreds of coaches grow their business just this year alone. We use the same kind of process in our business because we are at heart coaches. We're not a sales business. Um, and it's something that works really well across the board. Okay. So make sure you implement in that business. If you've got any questions about how it works and what that is, we've got loads of resources we can give you on it. We actually build out mini trainings on this because it's, it's quite an intense part of our program. All right. Just find us on Instagram. Okay. At Steve underscore FBU or at Fitness Business Uni, just drop us a message with any questions that you've got. Um, if you want any sheets on like how to set up the value call, we've got those as well. Send us a message, we'll get that over to you. You can implement it in your business now.